Well, a warm welcome to my vlog. How are you all doing? Um, we're back down on the syndicate again. We got down at tea time yesterday, so on this visit I've come with my wife, so because we're in the, we've got a little VW camper, so there's only maybe five or six swims you could actually fish on here where, you know, you can park behind the swim, so I was a little bit limited for choice, but actually, as it happens, when we got here, one of the swims that I definitely would have chosen was, was actually free. Um, which is a popular swim, it's called the Island Swim. Now, if you watch my last vlog, um, my last visit on here, I had a bite, which was good, and you know, I, I hadn't really had it my own way on here so far. But I lost a big one and I was proper devastated. It, it, was, a, it was a tough one to swallow as that, because I put a bit of work in down here for not a lot of reward, if I'm honest. So, like I say, we came down last night, um, there was fish scattered everywhere. There wasn't an obvious swim, there's no big wind on it, you know, they've spawned, so they're kind of spread out everywhere now. So, I was happy where I was. Put a little bit of bug across my rods, three rods. I'll show you the swim, but it's only short distance. 18 wraps is your maximum because of the islands that are in this swim, which, like I say, I'll show you them in a minute. Um, so I've got up at first light, like I do. I'm just watching the mist go across the lake, and I'm like thinking, hmm, not seeing a lot, you know, no liners, nothing through the night at all, no liners whatsoever. And uh, the right hand rod just absolutely melts for. You know what? You know when you just don't think anything's going to happen. And suddenly it just went off. I like looked at it and thought, I've got fish here. It just did not look like it was going to happen. Um, so yeah, uh, it's a good one as well. So I've got a. It looks like a thirty. So on this lake, if you have anything over thirty pound, you have to ring the owners, sack it up, ring the owners, and they come down and because uh, obviously they want to see. Because there's quite a few thirties in here now. It's it's really getting there. Is this lake? So. I've rang Mick, he's on his way down, fish is in the sling and uh, yeah, happy morning. Well I said there was a few nice fish in this lake and uh, like I say it is a 30, it's 31 pound and the gaffer's come down to see it and identify it. So there we are, 31 pound of Langham Beauty. So this one was caught on a bug, just on a wafter and all I've put out is a few 12 millers probably about half a kilo across my three rods so it's high pressure at the moment so I haven't filled it in with bait but I wanted something down there so I disturbed the swim a little bit last night but I wanted some bait there for this morning and it's paid off. text one scale sometimes yeah. that, that you can judge them but it's a bit of a two-tone as well isn't it? A little bit I think you maybe get it off that won't you? Yeah maybe but the change sometimes that's the one there. Yeah fine carry on. Nice. <sighs> Jesus that's a proper one that isn't it? It is. 
Right, well, it's a good morning. Do you want to just... Oh, I'll just bang a bit more water on him. It's a good morning. Had a bit of an occurrence on... Cheers. A bit of an occurrence on the right-hand rod, so I got up and checked it out. I'm just looking across the bay where I'm fishing. There was a lot here yesterday. A lot of fish. But we seem to think they pushed out because somebody's fishing to my left. And we both kind of agreed the fish have pushed out. I'm looking across the bay this morning, I'm thinking, should have moved, there's nothing here, not a fizz, not a show, nothing. And the middle rod just went off. And it's another 30, it's a 31.4 common. And it's an absolute peach. Yeah, take one of these every morning. You reckon you recognise it then? No. It didn't fight. No, it didn't fight at all. It just went right. It was a real weird bite. Give me a good slap. <laughs> Right, I'm going to put it back before it slaps me and these lads have a bit of a laugh about it. But yeah, happy days. That was a real interesting session down on the syndicate. Um, I'm just starting to pack up the rods still out, but I'm just packing everything up and getting ready for the off. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm learning more about this lake now. It, um, it's a bit of a strange one. Uh, there's a lot of contours on the bottom. It's like an egg box. There's really shallow sections and really deep sections and trying to figure out how the fish navigate, where they feed, where they don't feed. It's, it's, um, there's a lot to learn. I think, you know, it, you need to have been on here a few years to really understand this lake. I think it's it's one of them. A lot of the guys tell me the same, you know. But um, yeah, I got down. Uh, actually, I got down just after the football game, uh, which was a good football game, <laughs> uh, which got us into the final. So it was late when I got here. I knew there was nobody this side of the lake because I'd already found out that there was just a guy over the other side. So I knew I could come down at that time and not disturb anybody. So I didn't have a lot of uh, setup time because it was dark. And I'd seen a couple, or I heard a couple in this bay, and I thought that's good enough for me. And you know, I'm not disturbing anyone, and I can uh, <clears throat> get on fish. And nothing through the night, but the the following morning, more and more fish started coming into this bay. Um, but it was it's high pressure, and you know it was midday, so it wasn't really bite time. But I kind of thought, you know, I should really stay in here. Uh, and as we got through the day, there was more and more. And about five o'clock, there was like a lot of fish in here. And another member came down and went to my left. Um, he kind of like thought the same, you know, there's a lot of fish in here, that'll do. And then I think we got to about like 8 o'clock, 9 o'clock time, it, it, it just seemed to go barren of fish. And then we started seeing fish showing on the point, which is maybe 200 yards down the lake, you know. And I kind of thought, oh, maybe I've got it wrong, maybe I haven't, we'll see. We'll see what the night does. And the night did absolutely nothing. I didn't really hear a lot either last night. And uh, I woke up in the morning, I had a bit of an occurrence on the right-hand rod, like I mentioned before. Um, I don't think it was a bite, I'm not sure quite what happened, but anyway, so I was up and I'm looking across the bay and it was just nothing. There was not a, no fish in it, no fizzing, bubbling, showing nothing, you know, it was just like, yeah, yeah, I should have moved, should have moved. And then I got this random bite and I haven't seen a, a fish in the in this swim since I had that bite. It's really, really strange. Quite often on here, some of the guys tell me that when you're seeing them and they're rolling and it looks really good, often, quite often you won't get a bite. And I've had that a couple of times on here where I'm looking out and thinking, yeah, it's nailed on, it's nailed on, we're having one tonight and nothing happens. You wake up in the morning, they're still there and they haven't even hit your lines. It's really strange, but, you know, in fact, my last two bites on here, there's, I've not seen a lot when the bite happened. You know, at the period the bite happened, I've not seen a lot. So, yeah, 
yeah, another another learning curve, but another one of the uh, of the good fish out of here. You know, that was an original common. It's done 33 something, so it's had a good spawn, and yeah, happy days. Really pleased. I'm starting to learn a few spots. I know this swim pretty good now, but if I'm honest, I want to move out of this swim now. I want to start fishing swims that I haven't been in yet, so I can start to learn. You know, because if I see fish in a certain area and I don't really know the swim, I've got to disturb it. Whereas if I see them in here, I'm pretty confident I can get on the spots that the. Oh. They're starting to come back in. That were a fish. Anyway, yeah. So I, I'm I'm starting to figure out the spots that they're feeding in here. And I think to be to be like consistent on a lake like this, you need to have the information I've got about this swim. You need to have that in several areas over the lake. And I certainly haven't got to that stage yet. But I'm starting to get to grips with the place. So yeah, that fish came over the bug. That was uh, that got about a kilo of bug when I first got here. So that bait has been down there for. Uh, 24 hours before I got the bite which is interesting so maybe maybe washed out baits is something to consider I'm not sure but that was a bug wafter like I say over about a kilo of 15s so happy days I'm going to sign off this visit and uh, look forward to my next opportunity to get down here I've had to get one of the gaffers out of bed this morning again. It's been one of them sessions where I've had to move about a bit. This is my fourth swim. I've sat in a swim last night and I think I was in it because it's a popular swim, not because the fish were there. And I got my binoculars out and I looked down this side of the lake, seen four or five fish and I thought it was nine o'clock. I didn't want to move, I was knackered if I'm honest. But it paid off. It's another 30 pounder, it's a 32 pound lovely mirror again on the bug that's three visits three thirties it's doing all right for me at the moment well the move certainly paid off I don't think I'd have caught this one if I'd have stayed where I was so it just goes to show when you're tired and you don't really want to move, sometimes you just got to get it done and get on the fish. So this session started off fishing right at the opposite end of the lake to where I am now. I fished in that little bay where I caught the last fish from where I had that real smart 30 pound common um, the swim I was in last time was taken but the swim to the left of it was free and there was a bit of a westerly blowing up there and I thought I'll just stand in wait snooker the swim's called snooker I'll just stand in snooker and see what happens it was about seven o'clock something like that just after tea and one or two fish were showing and I kind of thought I've had it before where they've kind of like one or two's moved in and then it kind of like with the wind blowing in there I thought yeah that, that's where I, I want to be so I set up in there and I've, I've never fished snooker and that's what I'm trying to do on this lake I'm trying to fish different swims so I've uh, I've got an idea of what's going on in each swim if I can like I mentioned before I think that's good 
when you're fishing a lake like this rather than disturbing the water finding spots where's the weed and all the rest of it you've, the, the fish are going to do one they don't like being cast at these fish I know some of the members have had fish where you've actually cast at them but I haven't, I've not every time I've cast at the fish they've done one so so yeah I went in snooker and there was fish there there was a few fish through the night I had a couple of liners but it didn't happen and I kind of woke up and the wind turned it did a well it did a 180 it came, it came easterly uh, so I packed up from there and I had a walk around and I seen some fish in the island and I've done a bit in the island swim. I've only had one bite out of it but I've done a bit in that swim and there was a few fish there and I kind of thought well I did chuck the rods out if I'm honest but I thought it's never done me any good on a night and by this time it was like mid-afternoon and I kind of thought well you know if I, if I set up in here I'm kind of stuck in here for the night and uh, it's a morning's, morning's daytime swim for me from what I've seen so I kind of thought right I don't want to be here and then the point the point became free which is a one of the most popular swims on the lake and I went in it like I said but did I go in it because I've never fished it and there's normally someone in it or did I go in it because the fish were there well there was two things to it really I wanted to get my distances there's some really good spots in that swim that gets obviously like I said before it gets a lot of people in it and I wanted to get my line markers right so I know my wrap distance for when I'm fishing in there, which I did on on the two rods that are the, are the main spots that are in there. And I'm sat there thinking, there's one or two here, but the wind's turned, I, I, and it was getting to like seven, eight o'clock, and I'm like thinking, normally you start to see a few fish, and I didn't. So I got my binoculars out and I started looking this area of water that I'm fishing down here, and within five minutes I must have seen, seen seven or eight shows. I kind of thought, because let, let, I've moved sometimes on this lake I've moved when I shouldn't move so I kind of thought let's chill out there's a lot of fish in here but you know don't don't be moving just because you see a couple and then again I did it half an hour later I'd only seen one in my swim and there was another four or five in, in down here and I thought I've got to move and I was exhausted if I'm honest I just set the bivy in the bed and everything up in that swim so right pack it all down I got round here it was about nine o'clock when I got here and I had planned to fish long to the island out of this swim which is where I was seeing the fish and I cast and like, like I said I don't know this swim very well so I cast at it a couple of times about 21 22 wraps something like that and I landed in weed on both my drops and I thought I probably will find a spot but I'm gonna the fish are gonna do one so I forgot that area I left that area and I fished on the shallow bar that runs across the face of the swim and I just put three rods on it, really slack line, little bags, and I just sprayed a couple of kilo of bug right across it. And uh, yeah, it went off this morning, but it was a bit of a tussle. The rod pulled up tight, and as I picked the rod up, it, it, it was pulling as though it was through weed. And I think what's happened is there's some, a huge clump of weed had floated across, and as the fish had taken the bait, the, the line had lifted up into the weed, so I was pulling through this weed, and eventually I pulled the fish into this weed bed. And at this stage, I didn't know there was a fish on because it was so tight, it was gripping the line, it was huge, you know. So I'm just dragging the whole thing back and uh, I'm trying to break it up so I can get my line free, not, not knowing there was a fish on it. And the rod just went, and fortunately, my clutch was okay. And the fish kited out, so I've got my line into the weed, and then maybe five or ten yards past that, the fish is there. So I'm like, there's a fish on get it over so I'm busting all this weed up and yeah I managed to get it in so yeah that's awesome that's uh, three thirties in three visits now and uh, considering the start that I had on here it's uh, yeah I'm really pleased that it's coming together for me you know I talked about this in a mindset piece that I did for DNA recently and I specifically talked about this lake and the fact that I had a really bad start I'd probably done a dozen nights and not had a bite and uh Years ago, I would have got cross and frustrated and upset, and you end up chasing them, and you you push yourself further away from the capture. I think when you get like that, and I think it's purely experience that's taught me when it doesn't go right, you've just got to certainly certainly look at what you're doing and think, you know, can I improve what I'm doing? You know, I'm pretty confident with my rigs. I'm certainly confident with my bait, and. I don't think I was doing a lot wrong, but I've noticed there's, there's 
just fine tuning stuff has made a little bit of a difference for me and you know you, you get in touch with a lake don't you and the more you do on it the more the more you understand you know some of the guys that have been fishing here years you know they catch I won't say every time they come down here, but they're consistent because every swim they go in, they know the spots, they know where the fish go, and it's it's a bit of an egg box, is this lake? You know that you, you certainly you need to be careful with your cast, and you've got to do your own work in the swims. It's not a flat lake by any stretch of the imagination. Okay, so I packed up from that swim where I had the bite from. As soon as the sun started coming over and it started to warm up and, you know, the morning heat, I knew nothing else was going to happen from that spot. It's a good night swim as that. So what I've done is I've popped round here. Now this is the swim I was in yesterday afternoon and there was a lot of fish here. So I came nice and early so I'm not disturbing the water when the fish are here. So I got here about half past nine and I just gently swung some baits out into the areas where I was seeing them. And, uh, one or two have just started to move in and started cruising about so it's last chance saloon but it's it's always worth it I think because uh, these are like the opportunist like bonus bites that you can sometimes get from a lake like this. Okay, well, um, nothing. Well, one or two fish moved into this bay, but uh, it's not going to do me a bite. And we're getting close to 12 o'clock, which is my time to leave the lake with me not being a weekend member. So, yeah, but another 30 pound or so, I'll take that for the session, you know. Um, yeah, it's been, you know, I've mentioned it before, really, really tricky start for me on this lake. And uh, it was a while before I got going, but I'm beginning to get to grips with it now. And, uh, yeah, I've had a good few weeks down here, so that's the end of this vlog. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. Um, the next vlog, fingers crossed, will be in France. Uh, I'm going across to France for a couple of weeks towards the end of August, so it's likely the next time I come down here is going to be September now, because I'm quite busy for the for the next few weeks. So um, yeah, I look forward to that moving into the autumn, and uh, you know, it does fish well through the autumn, so I've been well, it fishes well up to December, so I've been been told so look forward to doing that but for now I'm going to sign off like I say I hope you've enjoyed it and uh, I'll catch up with you all soon <laughs>